The site I visited in Essex County was Hallett Point State Park. This beautiful site, made up of endless scenery with stone and quarries, is located in Rockport, Massachusetts. While walking around the path, you notice tons of stone and rock. There are many trees and quarries. Before the quarry was recognized as a useful resource to stone, there was nothing. There was no town, and the quarry was known as useless. In addition, people didn't have much. After the realization, Rockport became its own town, and as we can guess, it was named Rockport. The Babson family settled in Cape Ann in the 1650s. This historical site of the former Babson Farm Quarry makes representation of the quarry industry. And in the early 20th century, union organizing was taking place. This was used to get better pay for workers and to improve working conditions. There was also intense conflict between businessmen and company owners. History of Granite and Industry Halibut Point State Park itself is made up of sheets of 440 million year old granite that now deceived from the rocky headland to the tidal pools below. This area was first used by groups of Pawtucket Indians who migrated seasonally to the coast to ha harvest its supplies of fruits and fish. Beginning in the 1840s, granite was quarried from this area, first on a small scale and primarily along the coast, and then on a larger scale when the Rockport Granite Company acquired the Babson Farm Quarry and expanded its operation. Shortly in 1929, after the Cape Ann granite industry collapsed, 17 acres on the eastern coast of side of the quarry was purchased and given to the trustees of reservation. The remainder of the area sat unused until late in World War II, when a fire control tower, which is now the park's visitor center, was constructed to provide aiming information for the massive coastal defense guns that guarded Boston and Portsmouth harbors. Then, Halibut Point fell into private hands in 1956 and was operated as a private park for one season. After many attempts to develop this area as a residential community, then pressure led to the purchase of 56 acres by the state and the opening of Halibut Point State Park took place in 1981. There are 20 quarries on this Cape Ann site. These quarries supply national and natural building stones and paving stones. Process of rocks. Before technology was available, they split stone by hand. In the early days of the granite industry on Cape Ann, granite was split by making holes with a flat chisel and then by driving flat wedges down into the holes. By the late 1830s, this process was greatly improved. New chisels with shallow V-shaped cutting edges were struck with a hit-turn, hit-turn motion. This technique made circular holes into which half round shims like the ones still on the stone were inserted. A tapered wedge was driven between them, splitting the stone. 200 years ago, people built objects by hand, so the way people do work has dramatically changed over the past century or two. People had the skill they needed to split stone by hand using helpful tools. A quarry man's basic toolkit included a plunge drill, tracer, hammer, wedge with half rounds, and spoons. When walking around Halibut Point State Park, you realize the tools and skills they use to make things by hand. Some split stones can still be found around the park. That shows signs of, the, of these rectangular holes. This all shows the hard manual labor they could manage. Then they realized they could engineer things. Then when technology was finally an option and machines were available for use, there was hard labor and no more work by hand. Where does the stone go? The stone is used for many things, but mainly for building things such as buildings, streets, and basically anything needed for stone building. All in all, the quarries were very important in many ways, such as the main importance of building things. It makes visitors realize the labor that was done by hand, before the use of machines, and the skill people had for the ability to do the work by hand. Work has changed dramatically in the past century or two, but thankfully, the quarries were an excellent and useful resource. And that was my place, Halibut Point State Park.